What happened? Nothing. You're fine. I'm sorry I woke you. I'm fine? Yes. You with me. Where? In my office. Uh, what time is it? A little after seven. Oh, I have to go. Why? I, I can't be late for Lucas. Sure you can. But I'm not working on this with you anymore, Cass. We stayed up all last night and we came up with nothing. Not a zip. I told you I saw that body. Somebody took Catherine away. Somebody should take you away. How you get messed up and how you get me messed up in these things? Wait, Frankie. What? Before you go. We have to talk about what happens now. I know what happens now. I take a 45-minute shower and try to wake up. You stop talking about bodies. No, that's not what I meant. What do you mean? What happens now to the two of us? Us? Yeah. Look, I can't be late for work. Oh, yes, you can. L look, Lucas will get this. Lucas again. can go to hell. I don't care about Lucas. I care about you. You do. More than I've admitted. You haven't admitted a whole hell of a lot, that's for sure. Will you let me get this out, please? You think I want to stop you? But... Aha! Uh, I knew there was going to be one of those. Frankie. There. Sorry. But... I'm not ready to get involved with anybody. It's okay. But if I were, it would be with you. Why are you telling me this? Because you're flip and funny and uh, you give the impression that, uh, you know, give a damn about anything. It's not an impression, it's the truth. But deep down, you're the kind of woman that a man has to be serious about. I hope you realize that what you just said makes no sense whatsoever. It doesn't? No. Oh. Uh, fair enough. Uh, let me try to put it another way. Yeah, get the words in the right order this time, would you? Thank you for being such a big help in making this so easy for Why me. Why should I make this easy for you? If things continue on the way they've been going, at some point in the not-too-distant future, I'm going to have to tell you that I love you. And I don't know if I can. It's okay. okay. Don't worry about it. No, it's not okay. I do worry about it. You deserve a whole person, not someone who's half-empty. Our timing's off. I say something now? Oh, sure, of course. You're taking on a lot of responsibility for the way I feel. Too much, way too much. Maybe I am. How I react to what happens between us is my business. Frankie Frame decides how Frankie Frame feels, you know? Mm, I know. So are you really afraid of hurting me? Or are you just scared that you might find out that you're able to love somebody again? <laughs> Hey, I'm just scared, period. Well, that makes me really mad, Come Cass. on, Frankie, I'm trying to be honest here. You're the only here. one that finds relationships difficult. Well, I'm scared to death of them. And the feelings that I have for you. Fair enough? Oh, just talk with the fair enough and let me talk. Okay, talk. You're right. A year ago, I could have had a terrific affair with you. All fun and games. But I didn't know you then. Maybe I didn't know myself. And I want more than that now. You see, I'm right. I just said that, didn't I? Right. If you can't give me all of yourself, it's not good enough. I can't. It's okay. But what that means is that I have to get you out of my system, you know? Oh. Right. And the best way that I know how to do that is by working really hard. Frankie, are you nuts? Lucas could have killed Catherine. Anybody could have killed Catherine. But all the signs point to Lucas. <laughs> there is no body, Cass. 
You could have imagined the whole thing. Would you stop with that? No, I'm going to work. He's a dangerous man. And I am a careful woman. I always take care of Frankie. Now put your shoes on before you go out on the street, would you please? Yeah. 